So, hello again everyone. Hello. We're going to do another little, um, little one of our podcasts. Yep. Just a quick one this time, so we won't bore you for too long. So, we wanted to talk a little bit about um, Randonautica. And we wanted to talk a little bit about our last investigation, which we did at Russell Church. Yep. So, let's get into it. Okay. So, Dave. Yes. Randonautica. <laughs> what can I say about that app? So, we've done what? Two sessions? Three sessions? Three, yeah. three now with it. Three sessions with Randonautica. By the time this video airs, it might have been a four. <laughs> yeah. So, on the last one we did, which was the one we did in the dark, it yeah. ended up taking us God knows where. Um, and down horrible tracks and to a field of sheep. There was nothing wrong with those tracks. There was a lot wrong with those tracks. My car is the tiniest little car, okay? It's a tiny Toyota Igo. It's 900 cc's. It's not built for going off-road. Dave seems to think we're driving some sort of massive 4x4 vehicle when we go out in it, but we're not. We are. <laughs> It could have made it. End of story. It could have made it. But the ironic thing with Random Autica, if, if you watched that last episode, we said, right, we did say at the end, we're going to probably do one more um, off camera, and if we get anything, we will switch the cameras on. Well, believe it or not, I pressed the button to do the last one, and it picked a spot in the garden of another house, not the same house, but another house where I used to live, which piqued my interest again, because I was thinking, so of all the spots it could pick all over the place, out of those um, three investigations we've done, it's picked two previous houses where I lived. Seems to me that Richard has a lot more luck with Randon Orca than me, <laughs> but no, it was odd. It was an odd one, and if I had a bit more recording time on the camera, I would have filmed it, but to, it's just so ironic that when we switched off those cameras, yeah, and then redid it, it took its place where you used to live. I couldn't believe it, and it and it did pique my interest again. I really had sort of, I think you probably get, gathered by the end of it. I thought, well, this is <coughs> this is crap. I'm fed up with this. It's just taking us down stupid tracks, and we're not getting anything. Mm. And then it does that, so. We, are, we will probably give that another go at some point. I think it's going to be worth it, if not, if we had already given it a go by the time this is aired. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was an interesting one. It just took us everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was really, really fun. <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed that last Wednesday. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it as well. I enjoyed it as well. I mean, there's a lot of people else enjoying it. Yeah, that. again, you all seem to enjoy it. Again, you know, sometimes a bit of fun is what you need, and it? it's not all about spooky ghost videos sometimes it, you don't get that sometimes you just get what you get and um at least if it's a bit entertaining you you know it's worth watching i guess the way i see it is that when we go off and investigate the church or do any kind of investigations there's a serious a certain amount of seriousness to it and when we did the round and nautical ones it just took took away that seriousness a little yeah. bit and we just got the chance just to let our hair down even though we haven't got any. Don't like that phrase much. <laughs> Especially now I've got rid of my beard as well. <laughs> I feel hairless, but um, it's just, it was just an opportunity for us to have a bit of fun, have a bit of a giggle yeah. while we were, you know, instead of being in like investigation mode. Yeah. So it was good. It was good fun. But moving on to a serious note, yeah. Russell Church. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've watched Russell, the Russell Church one. When we did that, I didn't think there was a lot going on. I'll be honest. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When we decided to do that, that investigation was a side-off investigation because we couldn't get anywhere else. No. And we, and we were just like, no, it wasn't. 
We were trying to go to Grovely, wasn't it? We, went, we were going to Grovely Wood. And we ended up, we parked at Grovely Wood, and I, I have a bit of a back problem at the moment, I've injured my back. And I can't walk that far, and the closest we could park to Grovely Wood, it was what, about a two, three mile probably walk. a two, three mile walk. We walked about a mile, and I said to Dave, if I keep going, I'll get there, but I won't be able to get back. Forgot to bring his mobility scooter. Uh, and Dave wanted to push me in a wheelchair, and that was never going to happen. <laughs> but, that, um, but that's where it comes from. Yeah, so we so. sort of spent quite a long time trying to get to Grovely, and it, it, that didn't work out. We came back from there. Where else did we try? Well, we went to Scruton to go we and try and have a, just a church walk around. Found a church, but it was an old church that's sort of, it's not derelict, but it's um, it, it's uh, it's a closed church, basically, and it was all locked up, so we couldn't do anything there. And then we said, oh, well, we'll go back and have a look at Russell Church. We didn't have a lot of, didn't really have a lot of enthusiasm left by then. We'd, I'll be honest with you, by the time we got to Rushville Church, it was probably, what, about three o'clock? Yeah. Something along those lines. We didn't think we were going to get anything from there. No. At all. No. But to get the, some of the responses <laughs> we got from there, it was actually a pleasant surprise. We actually walked away really, really happy on that day. Even though I did, I was like, I know this is going to be a pretty yeah. decent episode. So. And I, I was quite shocked when we got some of the names that came through, because I hadn't Honestly, I hadn't looked on that. There were some plaques on the wall, and I hadn't looked at them. And I definitely got two of the names, I think, off of those plaques that came through on the investigation I did. Well, one spirit actually corrected you, so yeah, actually corrected you, yeah. And that was the that I I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if I mentioned it in a video. I might have mentioned it in a video or in a comment. I was editing this episode, and I did my half first, and then I went on to Richard's half. To edit his, and then as soon as I heard, is it? I think it, Richard was like saying, "Is it uh, Mary or Marie?" And then straight through the necrophonics, Marie. I was just like, I was on the phone straight away. <laughs> Lit show, Richard. You gotta know about this because <laughs> it was just. I thought I was recording. Yeah, and again, I missed it on the day. I missed it. Didn't hear it on the day, but when we played it back, it was very clear and I could hear it. Yeah, there was a lot. It, there was. There was yeah. a lot in there, you know. I mean, even in a certain point of mine, there was, I was explaining what we were doing and what a paranormal investigator is. And then it, there is a bit of an editing cut because there was a bit of a delay between that, uh, uh, the question I asked and the response that I got. But it's not much, it was only like a few seconds. And, um, it come out with saying they will learn. <laughs> and I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, it was one of them. It's like, a spirit has literally just responded to me saying that the other spirits will learn how to communicate with us eventually. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely a, a very interesting, um, a really interesting investigation, that. I uh, really enjoyed it. I, it's probably one of my favourites. Yeah, and I think we will probably go back there just to see if we get the same spirits yeah I mean I, I admit that, that that episode was solely necrophonics yeah that was all it is so we, I think also next time we give them a bit more variety use yeah. the cat balls again see if we can get them to move the cat balls because they seem to be quite strong yeah because yeah. I was feeling and sensing someone in there yeah so I reckon if I could feel and sense somebody in there, and with the responses that we were getting, I reckon we could get them to move those cat balls along the floor. Yeah. Honestly, do. It'd be good. I mean, it's worth a shot. Anyway. Yeah, definitely. Worth a shot. Definitely. Just give them a bit more options. Yeah. To try and communicate with us. Yeah, it was a, it was a very uh, a very interesting investigation. Yeah. I mean, we do we do like doing churches. I don't know why we've fallen into this niche of doing investigating churches, but... I don't know, there's something about them. They're old buildings, they're usually a bit gothic feeling. They've, you know, they've got a lot of history around them. To me, there's always a thing that they're, they're built on pagan sites. Pretty yeah. well all Christian churches are built on pagan sites. So there's a, lot, there's a lot of things have happened for them to get to the place where they are now. You know, the, if you want to go back deep into history, you know, there was probably um, Christians taking those sites away from pagans, making churches on them. Yeah. Probably people died there because of their religious beliefs or, you know, didn't want it to happen. So there's a lot, 
that you could get on there. I know where the passion for the church has come from, though. Do you remember when we went to Coombe Gibbet? Yeah. On that Friday? Yeah. yeah. We just literally popped into Ham Church. That was the uh, first yeah. one we did. Yeah. That's the first church we... No, it wasn't. It was after Winton. Yeah. But... We did St Andrew's Church. St. Andrew's. Yeah. And then we went to Ham Church. Ham Church. And then you yeah. got that response with the app. Yeah. And I, I would like to go back there again yeah, and do is. a proper investigation because we just did a church walk round, didn't we? Really? Yeah, we just, that, that's in the plan, by the way. Yeah. That is so. in the plan for a future investigation. But yeah, that's where it started from, and then it just carried on from there. Yeah. So, oh, there's a church. <laughs> Every time we used to go or come back from an investigation or go to an investigation, we go for a village, go, oh, there's a church there. Yeah? Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> and have a look around. I just it, it generally just having a look around. And this is exactly how it started with yeah. North Newton. Yeah. Look what happened there. Yeah, North Newton was another really interesting church. I say we've talked about that before and we've been yeah. over it, but yeah, it was definitely something going on in there. Yeah. Um, I don't know with these things, how long do you leave it before you go back and try again? I don't know. It's. Uh... Well, yeah, well, this. I mean, if I had my way, I'd go there every day. <laughs> Not necessarily North Newton Church, but places that we've had good. Communication yeah. from. Yeah. I, if I had my way, I'd probably go back every day just to try. It's in my head where I, it's the more you go to these places, the more they get to know you. Yeah. The more we get to know them, and there grows the likelihood of having a real in-depth conversation. So yeah, to speak. possibly. Yeah. You know, somehow. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's the way I see it, but. You don't want to go keep going there. No. I mean, you don't want to see an episode of what's to do in North Newton Church every week or uh, Brushwood <laughs> Church. You know, obviously. there is the element of it does get a bit boring yeah, if it's exactly. the same thing, doesn't it? But you we know, can go and, off camera. Well, yeah, we can go back, and if we, you don't know, have to film. No, well, we can film it, but we don't have to put it on the channel, do we? That's that's the truth of it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's been good. I mean, I, I, this year's been like the last six seven months. Yeah. And the other things we're going to try and do before Christmas, and we keep saying this, we want to tidy up. We've done some bits and pieces filming in Savannah Forest yeah. and um, Wayland Smithy. Yeah, Wayland Smithy is when we got finished. You know, and we just want to go and tidy those up and finish finish them off. We've done, we've probably filmed our intros and the bits and pieces, but we've not done the investigations at those places yet. No. So. No, we, if we get the chance, we're going to try and get those all tidied up before Christmas and get those out as well. And I'm going to introduce Dave to some of my uh, my pagan beliefs, okay? Um, we are going to try a few things. Something that's come to my mind, I mean, because I'm a, I'm a pagan, I cast circles for protection and that type of thing. And... For quite a while, I mean, I'm, I'm not keen on Ouija boards and things like that. I, I've always felt uncomfortable with them. But I'm, we are thinking of maybe giving a try of casting a circle for our protection and then trying to call out with the Necrophonics app and see if we get any responses um, within the circle. I'm not sure what we would be getting or what we would be hoping to get even but for me it's just another form of communication and it's something I would really like to try I mean I quite I quite like trying to talk to my ancestors and I'm not sure if that is a way that maybe they could communicate so it's a it's a bit of an experiment that I would like to try and I think Dave's up for it as well. Yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll give anything. You know, and just see, because there's information that you could get from that that only they would, only those ancestors would know. Exactly. And if you've got something like that, for me, it would be a real bonus to say, you know, I am very, very confident that this app works. Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. I do believe it works. It can be a bit sporadic sometimes in certain areas. Yeah. But it works. But yeah, we're, we might give that a go. And we, we will film that and let you have a look at that and see see what you think. One thing that did get mentioned in a comment on our Randonautica video, yes. I think it was by um, 
Dave Jones was they liked the spooky roads and they thought we should do an investigation at there, which I think triggered in both of our minds yes. an idea. Yeah. Um, I was talking to uh, David and Ghostwatchers Northwest in the comments yeah. about this. And they said yeah, investigation along those roads. And I thought to myself, I, I'm not 100% sure if there's any ghostly apparitions around that area. But I, we... And you've had the same, exactly the same yeah, thought. Yeah, exactly the same thought. So there's a, there's a little area along those roads a bit in the opposite direction. So Salisbury Plain's quite a big area. And there is a place called Airman's Cross, yeah. which is... Cross was erected there for the death of a... Um, I can't remember the history. I'll have an to spell it. It was an airman, but I'm not sure if it was a... It might have been a German airman. I think, I, it, I think it could have been a German airman. Yeah, I can't remember, but I will get the history when we go and do it, and we'll we'll fill you in on that. So that's another one that we're, we're going to go and give that a try. So we'll probably go out one night and do that. Again, it will be up on those spooky old tracks in the dark. In the cold. Richard can investigate first while he's sitting in the car. No, Dave's driving. Uh, oh no, sorry, I'm driving on the next one. <laughs> that one but yeah, yeah, so. yeah, I think it'll be that's something worth, worth definitely worth giving a go. Yeah, right, that yeah. I mean, that's a neat, that's quite a simple one because it's not far from us. So, no. And that'd be an interesting little investigation, that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, everybody, so that was our last podcast for this year and the end of this podcast. And we just wanted to take this opportunity. Uh, to thank everybody that subscribed to our channel, who watches our videos, likes our videos, comments on our videos, keeps coming back to watch our videos. Now, I'd love to name everybody. I really, really would. We would. Yeah. But I, unfortunately, I can't remember everybody. Um, I, think, I think the thing is for us, we started this channel back in May, didn't we? We, we did, yeah. We got together with this back in May. And we had 70, 71 subscribers. Yeah, it we really started in earnest. And we're over 300 subscribers now, 312. And it's amazing. Yeah. You know, and people seem to be enjoying what we're doing. And we, from the bottom of our hearts, it's just a really big thank you to yeah. all of you who, who comment and give us encouragement. Yeah. Um, we really do appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to uh, mention a few names again. If I don't mention your name, it just... <laughs> I, it, there's just so many I'm, I'm just going to mention a few um, so I'm going to say a massive thank you to Ghost Watchers Northwest for all your fantastic support it really really does mean a lot to us Vegas Paranormal as well who share our videos a lot who've been really pushing for us to do like to grow and honestly it really is very much appreciated we got David uh, Jones David Jones crazy David as I call you you're, you're amazing mate I love all the comments you put and the Give us such a lot of encouragement, and you're so enthusiastic. So, thank you very much. Uh, Bluegrass Paranormal, yeah. As well, I'm um, just scrolling through a few, just having a look. Um, Cornwall Paranormal, yeah. All uh, we've also got Pasadena Paranormal. Yeah. Alison Nicholson, I think you're a fairly yeah. new subscriber, but you've uh, straight away lots of comments on there. Really, really enjoying that. So, yeah. thank you. Bluegrass Paranormal, yeah. So, yeah. We've done Ghost Watchers. Two dimensional ghost, ghost hunter. hunter, yeah. yeah. See, well, again, so, lots and lots of comments from you, and really appreciate it. So again, thank you. There's so many of you, we just can't mention them all. No, so, so I'm just scrolling um, through and having a look. Uh, Pasadena Paranormal, yeah, them, yeah. uh, TPAT, the past and present TV, yep. Well, you know, yeah, ATJH Paranormal, um, yep. And um, then new subscriber, I'll try a bit of German. Paranormals mit K2 Sar, yeah. Thank you. For, thank you very much. I know you watch our videos. Uh, you know you watch and you, you, you comment and we love it. So thank you. Meg's Mysteries. Meg's Mysteries. Lots of encouragement there. Yeah. Just, there's, there's so many. There are so, so many. I, mean, and I want to name them all, but we yeah, just can't. So okay. we're just going to do a big collective thank you to all of you that watch our videos. Yeah. From it, the bottom of our heart, really. We really, we really a get a lot of encouragement knowing that we've we, you know, it's it makes it feel worthwhile sticking it on a channel and do it. We go out ghost hunting anyway. We would do yeah. that just for our own yeah. enjoyment, if you like. But it adds an extra thing to it to to film it and stick it on a yeah. on a channel. So I mean, you know, it's going to be much the same next year. Yeah, we 
some slight differences. Yeah. So I'm going to say this now is that there is going to be a point of next year where I'm not going to be here for three months. So I'm going to be in America for three months at this moment, um, as long as everything goes to plan. Um, but don't worry, the channel's still going to be going. Um, I'm going to be doing a few bits in America. And I know that Rich is going to continue here. Oh yes, we've got some plans for the summer. And then we'll uh, kind of meet up online to do a kind of live chat and all that. Yeah, the stuff, live so. was quite interesting and we can do that even though we're both in different countries, we can still do the live. So. And we're going to try and do a bit of bulk filming before <clears> I go. And then, yeah, uh, Dave might even let me edit some stuff, you yeah, know, and that'll be scary. I'm going to give Richard a tutorial Ooh. on how to edit. God knows what you're going to get put on the <laughs> channel if he leaves me with it. But there's still going to be plenty of stuff. It's just that uh, I'm, like I said, at this moment, um, going to be away for three months and I'm going to be just doing a few things over there, but I won't be as heavily involved. No, no. But I will be doing a few things and then Richard will be... By the time in. he comes back, I'll have trebled the subscribers. <laughs> we'll probably have new people to investigate with and we probably won't want him back. That's not going to help <laughs> at all, but, okay. But, oh, no, I, I'm only Dave, I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else. <laughs> we have a lot of fun doing this, I'm only kidding. So, but yeah, yeah. that's, uh, and we got plenty of stuff coming up in the new year, so, but, yeah, it's coming up, and uh, there's going to be more investigations coming up next year. Are you going to take the Merry Christmas thing? I'm going to say Merry Christmas, yeah. I'm going to wish everybody, in fact... Old Ebenezer Scrooge over here. <laughs> now I'm just going to wish everybody a happy Christmas and a happy New Year. There will be a video, a few videos coming up before Christmas. No, because this is coming out just before Christmas, so there will be some videos after Christmas yeah. um, and into the New Year. Yeah. But, well, I'm going to say Happy Yule to you all because I'm just a pagan and I don't celebrate Christmas as such. Though you know. I do and that pile of presents in there. Yeah, I mean, we do put a tree up, but that's a pay, that's a pagan ritual anyway. Um, you know, it's all tied together, and I don't really care what religion or what your beliefs are. To be quite honest, I've got mine. I'm sure you've got yours. Everyone's welcome on this channel. Any any religious any any religions any beliefs. You know, yeah. we're 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 open and welcome to all. Yeah. Um, that's the key so, thing. I mean, whatever you believe in, you can share your opinion. Oh, definitely. You share your beliefs on the channel, and it, you know, you'll get no you, negativity from no, us. Let's it, put it like that. We are, we are who we are. Yeah. Um, we've got our own beliefs, but that doesn't mean we would ever ridicule or, or make fun of anyone's beliefs. You know, you we're yeah. all different. The way I see it is that everybody on this channel, everybody subscribe to our channel. We're all part of a big family. We're all. Yeah. doing the same thing yeah you know, we're all sharing each other's experiences evidence yeah and uh and it I, i'll be honest i absolutely love watching everybody else's investigations oh god yeah so do i i watch, really watch loads of it i really enjoy it so i mean for me it's a oh, get, go on go on there's a couple of other names i just thought oh get spooky so I yeah about that. There's yeah a, See, all well, the names there's, are coming through now. We, there's too many to mention. Yeah, it's just too many to too mention. Many to mention it's, just, it's just a big collective. You know, thing. if we've missed you, we're really sorry. Comment more, and I'm sure your names will come to us next time we do a shout-out. <laughs> um, but, we, yeah, we, we love all of it. We love it all. And for me, I'm just going to say, you know, happy Yule to all of you. Have a great new year if we don't see you again on channel before then. And I'm sure Dave's going to wish you a happy Christmas. Yeah, I wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I'm sure we'll see you on the other side. On the other side. See Take you later, Bye. Bye.